Hi guys. All right. So welcome, welcome, welcome this morning. I'm excited to see if a few of you guys get on and share one stroke with me this morning. And we have lots of new stuff going on always on the channel. And so I wanted to come this morning and see if I could get a few of you guys to come join me and see how many of you like what I'm going to share this morning with you and think about something that you could paint later today that you might learn this morning. How does that sound? I'm excited always to see your opinion. So say hi to me and tell me where you're coming in from. I know that some people say they do not care to hear all the talking beforehand, but I have a lot of you followers out there who like to see what's going on in the Donna Dewberry world and want to share in the one stroke world and learn something new. And so please, please come on and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, I'm going to say that a few times today to make sure that you guys know when I'm on, cause it will notify you that. All right. So I'm trying to, um, I need somebody to say something so I make sure that I've got everything on and that we are ready to go because right now it is showing that we have no comments. So I want to make sure that all is good. There we go. Hello, Miss Susan. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you. Um, I am going to paint something really fun today and it's going to be another one of these wonderful things that many of you like. And it is when I, hello, hello, Miss Susan, where I am going to do a clear vase with some fun flowers on it. And I'm going to do it on a background that is scrapbooking paper, which is easy and fun. So you can go get any kind that you want. It looks like it's me, Susan, this morning and nobody else, but that's going to be okay because um, I'm going to give people a chance to get on. I just want to start out this morning by saying it's been a great week. We have Memorial Holiday here in the U.S. I know some people from other countries and we um, this week went by so fast and but I feel really blessed. I had a lot of good family things happening during this week. I don't know about you guys, but it's all about um, having that relationship and that knowing that the cool thing for me, I have seven children and they have 29 grandbabies uh, they've blessed me with. And uh, the coolest thing is I was thinking it's been a long time since we've gotten them all together, but we're doing a secret before Father's Day and every single one of them are coming except my son who lives in Utah because we're in Florida. So it's pretty far away. So that's exciting for me. And I just want you to know there's many of you out there that have told me hard times that you're going through physically. And I, the, I want you to know the Dewberry family prays for you guys and really cares about the pain that you're going through and to make it better what I've done, like when I lost my daughter, is I buried myself in to creating and painting. And so it was like a runaway train. I couldn't paint enough. But the more I painted, the more I didn't think about my pain and my woes. So what do you think about that? Hello, hello, Gilbert. And I'm blind this morning. Um, I see some of you out there. Thank you for coming on. Hello, Leanne, uh, Miss Osley, and... Uh, I made it. I can't see your name, sweetie, but thank you for coming on. And uh, tell me some of the locations you guys are from, because it's really nice to see where you guys are coming on from. Good morning. Good morning. So some of you are waking up and you're ready for me, right? <laughs> I am excited to share with you some more painting today. And I just want you to know um, it is important that you guys go on and subscribe you can't believe how many people watch my show and my online lessons and never subscribe. So you are awesome. Making it through loss is hard. Yes, it is very hard. Um, coming from Utah. Hello. Hello, Miss Julie. Um, I have a special place in Utah. That's where my daddy came from. All right. So California. All right. This is early for you guys. <laughs> All right, see Petersburg. Um, hello, Miss Gloria. Thank you for coming on. All right, it's good to see you guys. I know I sound like Mr. Rogers saying hello to everybody. All right, but um, so it's kind of crazy 
Hello, hello, guys. It's kind of crazy to come on and talk to you guys out here in places all over the world, which is really nice. Look from France. Hello, Miss Rose, North Carolina. Um, what I want you to know is that the, there's blessings by having social media and there's things that aren't so great. So the not so great is, ma'am, you talk too much. All we want to do is see your painting. And the other things is they say, oh, get on with it. <laughs> so no more talking, but guess what? That's who I am. That's how I am. So you're going to get more of that because that's what's that's what it's all about to me. And I love teaching. I'm passionate about teaching. I hope that you feel that. But to grow to grow the site so that I can do more free lessons. And I know so many of you want that more free lessons, more how to practice strokes and all. I need you to subscribe, not just watch. I like you watching. Subscribing doesn't hurt you. <laughs> so some people say, I don't know what that means. Subscribing just means that you're supporting me and it doesn't cost you financially. Just you click the subscribe button and then you hit the notifications and there's a bell that will ring or it will go click. Don has got something new. That's what has happens to my phone. It's like I got a new iPhone. Swore I'd never do it, but I live on my iPad. So iPhone was a good thing, except it's always dinging and vibrating. That I have notifications, which is telling me that I have a video coming on. So I hope that uh, you don't mind love when you talk to us. Oh, thank you so much. I love talking to you guys. Alberta, Canada. Hello, hello. I had lots of beautiful trips to Canada. Um, and then thank you for subscribing a long time ago. So please, if you know anybody who loves painting, ask them to come on. I am this morning, seven people short of being 114,000 subscribers. So come on. No, 113 thousand subscribers. So, um, so I hope that you guys help me hit over that top and our goal for June is to get a thousand more subscribers. And that's possible. If you guys help me do that every time I do these, it has a small, small percentage who actually subscribe and like 67 percent are not subscribed so help me all right and i know you just want me to start painting we get more people on thank you thank you uh hello marie and hello pat thanks for being on to together with us today and gilbert you're always there to support me i appreciate appreciate that so much so south carolina north carolina and um all my canadian friends come on we have i have tons of people in the uk I have taught, I have taught hundreds of people in Taiwan. I've been there for, I spent over two trips, a month and a half in Taiwan, which was pretty amazing. And Japan, we have many, many one stroke followers in Japan and, and Taiwan and Japan. I have all these certified instructors. Uh, you pur purchased more of my books for my collection. That is awesome, Rose. Thank you. All right. So I want y'all to see how many of you have gone and seen on my store on the YouTube. Don't look at my mess. Um, my shirts. I have all these fun shirts. And this is the wreath that we painted last year at my convention. I also have a convention once a year. This year it's in September. And we used to have 500 something people at our conventions. But now with COVID and everything going on, it's really small, but we want it that way so that we can all sit there and have a good time together. I have online classes. If you go to onestroke.com, there's online classes where we have Zoom together, no matter where you are in the world. We have Zoom together. We talk, we um, create, you can ask me questions. It's live. Then you get a recording and I send you, if you need a pattern, I send you a pattern and all some step out pictures and all the paints we use in advance and an email. And then you have the code to get on zoom with me. And then afterwards I send you the recording. So that's all on one stroke, all spelled out.com. All right. And so if you're here on YouTube, we have this whole uh, you got two of my shirts. Thank you, Leanne. Already subscribed. Good morning from Central Coast, California. Woohoo! You guys out west in mountain time and all early this morning, early. So I just want to share that we're going to paint a project today. 
And I want to um, show you that today at noon, so whenever you're watching this, it will be another day and it'll be already done. But today at noon, I have a new thing I'm doing. Let me show you this first. All right. So um, my husband said, you have these great signature brushes. All right. These are my signature brushes. What a lot of you have done is bought my value pack brushes, which are great. You get 10, especially if you're a newbie out there, you get 10 brushes, my most used 10 brushes um, that are the standard Donna Dewberry dark green handle. Really good brushes. Those are my go-to for all my students. There's about $16 online. So that's a good deal for 10 brushes. All right. So that's whatstore.com. Please support me there. I appreciate it. We have our double loaders and paint and everything you need. Even if you have paint where you're at, you still can get your brushes at all with me and your online classes. Well, these are my new signature brushes. So I've had many different brushes, but these are the top quality best brushes I've ever made. All right. So this is my folk art one stroke set of signature Donna Dubry brushes. So what happened is these, these floral ones, these floral ones have, um, uh, those are all the specialty brushes, like a filbert, which is especially for me because I mostly use flat scruffies and scrub liners. Does that sound good? I just got your signature brushes. Aren't they beautiful? So this is what happens with these signature brushes. You guys go, and you can see I made mine really messy, but you guys say, oh, they're wonderful, but I'm not going to use them yet. <laughs> if you don't use them, I can't sell you more of them. So no, I just want you to get them out. They're high quality, high quality bristles and the handles are smooth and wonderful. But I'm really, I have always left, as you can see, there's paint all over this. I always leave my brushes in the water and do some really bad habits. So what I've been doing is being very good. Um, I don't know how much the price of the shirts are there in the you know, 19 to $23, depending. I like longer sleeves because we're older <laughs> and it covers a lot. And so this is these shirts with the longer sleeves are called classic. All right. Then they have the lady shirts, but the lady shirts, you have to get bigger. size. I don't like them tight. So, you know, I just upsize a couple of what I usually wear, but they're very good quality. They're Teespring and I have fleece, beautiful blankets. They are so amazing and they're 80 inches big and they're super deal and pillows to match them. And I'm doing a shower curtain in the future. And there's, I just need a tote. So we're working on that. Um, but anyway, go check it out. And it's on my YouTube right in the bar that, and it'll say store. Okay. All right. So this is what I want. All the signature brushes or specialty brushes, I mean, have my roses on them. I don't know if you can see, but they're kind of pretty. And then the lavender and white are the rest. So the reason I'm making a big deal about that is my husband had an idea. One of my best videos, most watched videos is how to use each of these brushes. All right. What is the price of your shirts? I just told you guys, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. So um, you yeah. have, you want to get the tray loader. Yes, a double loader. Lots of designs this month on Zoom classes from Donna. Yes, you got to go see from Sea Turtles. To, I think I left them all at the studio. Uh, sea Turtle and a forest. All kinds of fun things that we're going to be painting this month in June, starting Monday night. Okay, at 630. All right. So this is today. What I'm doing is out of these are the 13 most most used brushes but they're all high high quality all right but these are like um i don't know <laughs> i'm not gonna tell you the price i don't know but uh go check out onestroke.com and you'll find out so i took a round brush this is today's lesson on practice strokes okay so i took this one round brush from this set and i'm i'm concentrating on that brush and sharing with you on scrapbooking paper how to do these strokes and how to effectively use this round brush. So what I'm going to do for the next few series on practice strokes, which is every Friday is that I'm going to be doing strokes with you, showing you different strokes with that brush to help you get more comfortable. Uh, thanks. Hello, Katie. Thank you. Thank you for signing up. I appreciate that. Um, 
I have a beautiful smile. You're so fun. Thank you. All right. I need y'all to make my day. I did not have such a good morning. <laughs> I had to go um, do some stuff I didn't like this morning. And it has something to do with bank people who are not, who know everything they think. <laughs> so that was not a good morning. So I came home and said, I'm going to do something I want to do today. And I wanted to come on and see your smiling faces. I don't get to see you, but oh yes, Gilbert said I did Christ um, tending the sheep uh, for June. I did a secret garden, a sea turtle and a castle window with a floral vase in it. So you have to check those out. You can go see those on onestroke.com under lessons. All right. Download or their lessons. They say lessons. All right. And it's on the homepage of my site. All right. So, so the next few Fridays and let me explain really quick. Relax and paint is on Wednesday and Wednesday morning, really early. And I just talk really quiet and relax with hopefully waking you up in the morning. And on Fridays we do practice strokes. Now they're short, quick clips of how to use a stroke or my biggest my biggest followers on YouTube said, Donna, tell me what it means to do this stroke and what does double loading mean and what does the medium mean? So I have these short little clips and so many people tell me they binge on them. But what I want you to do is I want you to look up what you think you're having a problem with. I can't do that one stroke leaf. How do I use this flat brush chisel? How do I use the rake brush and the fan brush? And my technique is way simpler than many other techniques. And I make what usually is very hard in other techniques. I make it really quick and easy with one stroke. We blend shade and highlight in each stroke. So on these little shorts, I give you homework and I asked you to work on and practice those, put them on my way, on my Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group Facebook. <laughs> so you share and people are really encouraging there. So, um, so what I do on Friday is you practice these strokes until you feel comfortable. So if you slowly go along with those with me, you're going to feel, I think there's over 40 of them right now. You're going to feel like I've learned one stroke right at home with Donna. Okay. So I want you to think about that. Thank you, Leanne. Another wonderful person from Canada. Thank you guys. Um, thank you for loving my shirts. I appreciate that. All right. So y'all want to get started. I have talked way too much, but I appreciate you. Thumbs up means you like that I talk <laughs> or you'd rather me paint. Thumbs up means either one. Um, and if you liked for me to come and do, um, do more of these lives compared to, you know, so tell me, tell me if you like, um, in the comments, I need to know what you want to see. What's my your favorite thing you've ever seen me do? Or if you've never seen me before, you're saying, what the heck is the lady talking about? Um, but if you, uh, when I meet people, I just meet all these wonderful people. And I say, um, you know, I am an artist. I paint. So you go check it out on YouTube. So what's really, that's the easiest thing they can go check it out. All right. So Gilbert. Uh, oh, yeah. Gilbert just put up the Facebook group so you guys can see it. Um, how are you doing on the brushes in Ireland? How do we get the brushes? OK, we ship all over the world. There are some countries because of COVID that still don't let you ship. I love the thumbs up, but post it up there, too. So I see I've got 29 thumbs up. Let's see how many we can get today. All right. Um, hello. What was I saying? Oh, we ship. Um, I mean, things like paints are heavier, I understand, but we do USPS. So we could fill an entire box. It doesn't matter the weight and ship it to you. So it's one fee that way. And that's the least expensive we found to be able to go to all these different countries. And a lot of the people don't ship to certain countries, but we do. So please, you know, go on our site. The shipping can be higher because the shipping just says we can't help what the shipping is, but we don't add handling and stuff. We just do shipping exact costs that like USPS charges us. So I'm just letting you know that. And we ship to all kinds of crazy places around the world. So it's exciting. So my husband does that and my daughter and everybody back at the warehouse. So check us out. Um, they are good brushes. Thank you. So I have to tell you, people use my brushes for many, many things. 
other than just one stroke. And, but I have to tell you my value pack is $16. They're amazing. I just want you to know that these are better quality. And so some people want to start with the best quality, but this is what I'm saying. Don't leave. All right. Really quick. I should just start painting. Don't y'all just want me to paint. I lost a few people because I'm not painting, but I want to share with you. So these brushes have more dips of very um, quality dipping layers of paint. So that's why they're so smooth on the hand and all. If you leave them in water instead of cleaning them and then laying them down, if you leave them in water, they will crack the paint. So just be careful with your brushes. Be good with them. Okay. All right. So let's start painting. Now, what I'm going to go down and uh, we love the short lessons and types of brushes and different strokes. Well, what's really good, guys, this is all you have to do. You just freeze it, rewatch it, freeze it, rewatch it till you feel comfortable or just watch it over again. So the deal is that you watch my strokes on practice strokes on Fridays. You stroke those or you practice stroking it. Then you come back after you've practiced it. You go, oh, I didn't see her do that. So that's how you learn from making the mistake and trying it and saying that doesn't work, Donna Dewberry. Then you go back and watch it again. And then you see, and you might watch it three or four times. Okay. So thank you. And let's start painting. All right. So I'm going to whip you around and hopefully not make you dizzy. All right. Thank you. We got 40 likes. Thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I never get enough of your loading your paintbrush demonstrations. Well, thank you. You know what? I just had somebody new in, actually in my class here in Florida who's been watching YouTube and she, that's what she said. I need the loading process up close and personal. So, all right. I hope the light's good enough for you. I'm going to move back so we don't have all that and the floaty meaning for just regular painting. Um, yeah. The floaty meaning really helps you. Now we have this in two ounce bottles or um, and eight ounce bottles, this big one. And that's the new logo. I had an old logo here. So either one is the same floating medium. Now, what is it? It's the fluff that's inside the paint. It's in this paint with no color in it. So we do not use water. Do you hear me? No water. So what I want you to do is we're gonna put out the paint we put multi-load the paint in different colors. The Folk Art Multi-Surface is amazing because it's got a sealer in it and it goes on glass, metal, ceramic, canvas, wood. And so it's wonderful. Also, what I'm going to be working with today are neon colors also. And I have a set right now. I think we're selling, you could get, um, I think it's five colors of neon because I'm going to show you how pretty um, that they I add to my painting for um i don't know it's about 11.99 but they're wonderful so just bringing that up and this is what uh we're learning today in practice strokes and it's all done with that round brush i was just sharing it's right here with a number eight round brush okay so just wanted to give you a heads up this is today go watch it okay and now we're going to start our painting today on another scrapbooking paper. Now these were my scrapping booking scrapbook papers some years ago, but now I don't have these, but you can go to any craft store and pick up a design for the background. Just make sure it's not too busy. I use foam plates to paint with, or uh, I can't wait to get your new neon paints. I know uh, on that one stroke uh, on the Donna Dewberry's official one stroke Facebook group, we have big promotions and sales every Tuesday and every Friday. So join us because you're going to love that and you're going to learn so much. Okay. So here's all the colors and I'm going to tell you the colors as we go. This is my double loader. It's got a lid. It's got a sponge that goes on top to keep it. Here it is. This is going to help you because you're going to pop this on and dampen the sponge and what it's going to do is keep your paint till we meet again or till you start painting again all right so that's what the double loader's for for everybody out there who's having problems loading all right and i'll share some of that with you a little bit later here all right so what i wanted to do is i want to take and um guess what i didn't do i didn't pull out my pencil so i want to take and draw 
just a little vase, all right? So what's going to happen is right down here, all right, I'm going to don't do it heavy like this, but I'm doing it heavy so you can see it. And I'm going to do a jar, okay? So this jar is going to hold um, flowers. So now all I have to do is I can take and do a couple of big leaves, all right? And I have a whole drawing lessons that you will love. And my drawing lessons just tell you how to design your own designs. And those are all onestroke.com. All right, so I teach you step-by-step step how to draw your design. And it doesn't look like that's bright enough for you to see, but it's there. Um, how to draw your designs and then we're going to start painting. Now, what's beautiful about scrapbooking paper is it frames really easy. You get really inexpensive frames. Um, you can mod podge it onto something. There's all kinds of fun things you can do with it. But it already has a great background and you can just enjoy your experience as a quick little project. OK, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make my jar down here a little bit. Let's let's put a little bit of cobalt out here. So I'm using till. All right. This is teal. This is cobalt. And that is neon blue. All right. So let's come a little bit closer. Okay. So I'm going to go into the medium and work this in. Now what happens, let me just put some out here because I want you to see this really good. Okay. So I've gotten the medium on the whole brush. All right. And I'm going to come right here and get both colors. Okay, this looks really dark to me. Let's see. All right, so hopefully you can see this. All right. So let's go here and we're just going to get a little bit on there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is right where this jar is, we have to put this color on the jar after we put all the stems in it. But right now I need you to get to get more medium because it's not moving as easy. All right. I need to give you the jar to put your stems in first. All right. So we just need the shape, right? So we're going to come along here. Now I don't want it to be wide. See how wide that is. So I'm going to wipe on the paper towel. I'm going to dip more floating medium. And then I'm going to push the paint by going over, 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 over. I'm pushing the paint over. And if you're having fun learning something new, this is a good time for you to give me <laughs> a thumbs up. All right. If you're liking what I'm sharing with you, okay. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. About Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. All right, now look, we're going to come back here. This isn't a good thing to do in the double loader. This you do need on the plate so you can make sure you are pushing it over. All right, so then we're going to come across here. And now when we use floating, you're laying the brush flat. This is a three-quarter flat brush. I keep forgetting to say what size. So I need to say what size. Three quarter flat brush. All right. And this is going off the edge of the paper. See that? All right. Because um, it's all about what we're going to paint on top. So paper doesn't flow as well this way. But if you want a watercolor look, I use these acrylics and I just use a whole bunch of floating medium because it's a gel. All right. Can you see? It's wonderful. It's a gel. All right. And then that makes it not spread across the whole brush and make a big band. This I can keep bringing in here. I'm going to put um, the blues across this later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You went up 11 thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now I want to get into some citrus green and sap green. Okay. So I can still use this three quarter and I'm going to go, I'm not cleaning it. I'm just going over here and picking up these colors. And you will see me more and more as I'm painting. You'll see that I don't wash out the brush because I like all these extra colors in the brush as I'm painting. Because then it's, you'll never match those exact colors. See, I got medium again. Work this in, work this in. Now, 
if I want it a little bit lighter, I should have got that paint off there. I know that looks bad. Pick up wicker white and come in here and pick up some more uh, brightness by putting a little bit of white there. All right. So hello from Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> I'm probably saying Massachusetts wrong. Uh, you didn't miss seeing the painting. No, Judy, I just started painting. So it, you could go back and listen to me talk sometime. All right. So what I want to do um, is come off the bottom here. So we're going to do big hydrangeas. So I'm going to come here and I want to go off the end, uh, off the paint, um, off the page. All right. So I'm going to show you that if we come across here and I want to see, I want to see the shading. So you see the light and the dark, you do it all at once. So let me show you that again. All right. I came right here. I picked up the two colors right here. I just grabbed the two. Then I came over here and push hard, push hard, 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 back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Really hard. That's what blends it. All right. You want at least two thirds up. All right. And yes, my paint's got white paint all over it. My brush does. All right. Then I'm going to dip some white because I want it lighter. And then I come right here and work that back in. Okay. Now, especially if you're on paper, but this scrapbooking paper is slick. But I can go in here and dip straight in the floating medium ever so lightly. We want this to fill. Does anybody know what we want it to feel like? Butter. Just like butter. Okay. So that's going to make you happy if it feels that way. All right. So I can come off the page right here and make another stem that's slender, thinner. All right. And now one of the things I'm going to share with you is I wanted it darker. So I'm leading with the light and the darker is showing up. But if you're on a dark surface, you would flip the brush and lead with the dark and the dark will let the light come right back on top of here and give you highlights. Okay. Now that's probably all I'm going to put in here. Oops. Let me try that again. This stem's not all the way at the bottom. Okay, so in here, we just have a few stems. All right, and that's all you have to do. And that's with the chisel edge of the three-quarter inch brush. And that's all I've used so far is the three-quarter, which I'm still going to use because now after this, look at that really good. After that, I'm going to do that instead of moving the camera constantly. Um, I drew three big leaves. And so I want, lots of times I put the leaves of all kinds after I do my flowers. But today we got 52 likes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, after, after seeing this, I know I'm going to put big hydrangeas in here. So I could take chalk and draw where I want them to be and then know where to put leaves. All right. But sometimes if you put the flowers, then you just poke the leaves up close to it. But I know that I want some big leaves to be hanging over there. So I'm going to get more paint. I'm going to go right here, pick up more paint, just go back and forth because it's already loaded. It's inside the brush. Now, if you, if you pick up the wrong color, just go and wipe it off and then go paint. Okay, go get more paint and you're ready to go. So I'm going to dip straight in here, go back and forth, and you only get medium every third to fourth stroke if you feel dry. All right, uh, get my shift together. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Good morning. Thank you for the live stream. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to show you a real simple leaf. We're going to come down and make an arrow. Can you see the arrow? And then I'm going to put the light edge on the outside of this leaf. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to put pressure and I'm going to run the dark edge along this side. So I'm going to go just like this wiggle wiggle and slide to the point okay and then hello from france hello hello then i'm going to go on this side see i'm kind of one two three and i'm ready to go all right so let's go closer because i three leaves i want you to see how they happen all right so i'm running the dark sap green along the stem of the arrow and so it's like loop 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 stand up stand up stand up and slide to the point 
Okay, so now we're going to take the chisel edge of this brush and we're going to pull a stem right in the middle. Okay, so wasn't it easy? All right. Thank you, Miss Linda. I love doing tutorials. All right. All right, now let's do this big leaf here, but I'm going to show you a little bit different on that leaf. All right, so we go pick up more paint and you might only need citrus green, so you could just dip that. And then come here and flatten it out. And I'm just going to get more medium just for the heck of it. But you might only need medium on one corner. You might only need it on one corner. So you decide. All right. So now let's do another one. Here's another arrow. Okay. Can you see that arrow? Now this time I'm going to keep the light citrus green on the inside. And I'm going to use the, the sap for the outside. Now, I have tons of paint, but it's still dry. So I'm going to just dip sap green on the corner, flatten it, dip just the sap green in the medium, and then I'm ready. All right, so watch this. I'm going to push down pressure. What blends and shades this is pressure. No pressure, no blending. Okay. Hello, hello. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it, guys. We got 10 more likes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So one, two, see. Now, when I slide out, guys, but I've got pressure. Pressure blends it. I slide back to that line. Slide, 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 and stand up. All right. So now this one, all right, was all citrus green on the outside. So on this one, I did the sap green on the outside. Now I'm going to come with this three quarter inch flat brush. This is my one stroke brush. My brushes are different. They have a more spring to them than other brushes. So if you're using other brushes or thin paint, you're not going to get this pretty blending. Okay. So look, if I run that dark green all along there, okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you. And, but I'm using a lot of paint up because it's paper. All right, let's get a little bit of white and work that in. Are you having fun yet? Anybody out there liking this? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> okay. Am I begging for compliments? <laughs> I am going to stop right this minute and tell you, if you have not subscribed, I can't keep coming on with free lessons if you don't subscribe to this channel. So you click subscribe. And then you say notifications so you know exactly when I'm going to pop up like this. All right. So that's not a threat, but that, I need your help. Okay. Thank you. I just got 12 more likes. So that's a good thing. Now I just went from here to there and I kept the green on the right side. And if you're left-handed guys, turn this all around and do it comfortably for a left-hander. Okay. So you're going to go whatever's comfortable for you. Okay. But guess what? It's okay to turn your projects. Did you know that? All right. So I'm going to go here and by doing this on the outside, see I got pressure. Then I start lifting, 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 lifting and stand up. And I was trying to cover that pencil mark. Cause I don't usually put pencil there, but I wanted you to see stand up, stand up, stand up to the chisel and slide. Now I got to come fix that side, but one stroke, you can fix it. It's no problem. You pick up more paint and go paint again. Thank you from India. Hello. Hello. It's nice to have you. All right. So my Indian friends call me ma'am. They like it, ma'am. And I have so many friends in India. All right. And some of them come to the U.S. and visit me. I love it. All right. Let's see how we fix that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I'm going to take this chisel and come right back in the center and make the stem. Now, when you look at this, I want you to see when you're kind of looking at this, it looks like this went curved in and then the light's hitting over here and it's lifting up. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. The one time I didn't bring a drink. You wish you could turn a wall. See, I tell you, they say, what about walls? How do I do that? I'm, I'm telling you, there's certain flowers that are not easy on the wall because you can't turn the wall. I painted on walls for years and years and years. I did five, um, what do we say, 1,500 homes in one year. 
um, of all, you know, over five years I was out doing houses where I painted different rooms. Um, and what's really cool is that with my technique, you're so fast, I would make a never less than 250, but as much as a thousand in a day, just doing people's walls. So it's really fun. And I love people. So it's nice to go see what my next adventure is going to be. Uh, your paintbrush never holds enough paint. All right. So if you have my paintbrush and it doesn't hold paint, it's your fault, not the brush. <laughs> you got to put mud. So go to practice drugs and just concentrate on the loading. All right. But as I'm teaching, go back and rewind and rewind or watch and watch and watch how I keep going to my paint, how I keep picking up paint. Look how much paint. There's a ton of paint in there. And the key is if you don't push really hard at the beginning to get the paint in there, then look what happens. Oh, this brush is so dirty. I'm sorry. Uh, look, that paint's all inside. If your paint's not all inside, that means you didn't push hard to load it. That brush is not loaded if it's just a little bit of the brush bristles. You got that? Got to have more. All right. So then I can get a little bit of medium. If you have too much medium, it'll drip. And we don't want that. All right, so you only get medium. If you're on paper, you might get it more often. If you're doing fabric, you might have to paint and get more. So this paint goes on all kinds of surfaces. So you're going to love it. Go to onestroke.com. Go to my Facebook group, group and see what everybody's doing. You're going to love this, all right? So there's another way that I do a bunch of leaves, and that is where I make a Y. This is also right on practice strokes. You're going to learn this real clips, simple clips. All right. Have you subscribed today? I have 16 new people just went on. I need you to go subscribe. I'm going to be doing lives when you subscribe so that more people. I have 60% who watch me who do not subscribe. If you subscribe, that's how I get to come on and do more live. So help me, okay? Help me, help me. All right, so I'm going to go one, two, three. So I want you to, this is a different way to do a leaf. So you, you guys, please watch right here. And we haven't even done the flower yet. Doesn't that sound fun? All right, so this dot right here is going to be a magnet. And every time I come out here and I go out, it sucks me back. Out, back, out, back, out, back. And if you're in... And um, America, we have Outback Steakhouses. So that helps you remember. Out, that's the mantra. One, two, three. See, the, there's your magnet. I'm going out, back to the magnet. Out, back, out, back, out, back. See the shell? I want a shell. You see there's pressure. The pressure. Look, scrub. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now I'm going to slowly... Stand up, stand up, stand up, all the way to the chisel, but we're not done. This is where people quit. We're all the way to the chisel. Now, straight up, now slide down and get a tip, okay? If you don't like something you did, just look over it. Now, I'm going to come right in here. I lead with a light. I mean, I led with a light, so the dark comes into this one. And I'm slightly lifting. So look, I'm slightly lifting the front so the, the back bristles slide in. All right. Well, that doesn't look like a pretty arrangement. But guess what? We're going to put flowers now, okay? Um, we're going to do, used to take classes from one of your certified instructors. Hey, guys, no matter what country you're in, thank you, honey, no matter what country you're in, I need certified instructors. I have so many people that do Zoom lessons to get certified with me online. I have amazing instructors around the world who are certified and masters and certifying elites. And they will certify you. And to, to do that, just go to Amanda Dewberry at Hotmail.com. Amanda Dewberry is my daughter, and she will get you all set up to become a certified instructor with the closest person to you um, or a home study course. So come become one of my teachers because we need teachers out there. More, more, more. Thank you for all the hearts. Are y'all getting? Oh, we're almost at 100. Come on, guys. Give me 100 thumbs up. <laughs> all right. I've never bragged, so I've never begged so much for, for compliments. All right. 
are you still with me? Do you still want to get some more tips and tricks on how to do flowers? Well, um, should I wait here until you go subscribe or can I trust you? I want to see my shirt again. If you're new, a whole bunch of people didn't see. I have a couple of different shirts. This is my wreath back there and I have blankets and everything with the whole, with designs on it. This is for 25 years. Last year was 25 years of one stroke painting. We had our convention. This year is instead of 007, it's 001. And it's in September, double one stroke. You're one stroke away from being an artist. Well, how about that? So you can go to a convention with me live. I know if you're in other countries, sometimes you can't come over here, but um, we do one a year. This one's in September. And we each have our own single table for social distancing. We're at a wonderful hotel by the Orlando airport in Florida. So how many of you would like to come to Florida? All right. I'm at 98, hit a hundred. Okay. And so, um, yes, thank you. Sometimes when you have children and life beating you up, sometimes I need my painting because it lifts my spirit. And I am hoping when I lost my daughter, I could just paint and forget for a little bit that she really wasn't still at college, that she that she was really still out there and I had some peace. So I want you, I pray that the painting touches your spirit like it has mine and it just gives me hope. I've been able to help support our family. I've been able to make money and save money because I painted gifts to give away and we didn't have to buy gifts and um in my church a lot of people get married and a lot of people have lots of children well i'm a member of the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints and what i love is we're all about the kids and we're all about family and so painting just i taught the youth the young women the primary children so many people how to paint and if they have personal physical mental problems painting just gives them peace and so i'm hoping that um you guys don't think i'm corny i'm passionate about what i do and i love teaching so i'm one short of a hundred likes come on <laughs> come on all right and so let's get going again um you live in florida that would be fun come see me i just have three new people who found me from youtube and they came to our class and we did oversized paintings so thank you 102 i love you guys let's start painting some more okay are you ready um something is preventing me from giving a like oh i'm sorry okay as long as you like me and thumbs up it's thumbs up i guess not like i'm not saying the proper words okay all right so how about a fun and easy hydrangea i'm just going to do a quick one that i think you'll like and before i do i want to take my 12 flat and i want to get some medium all right so i'm supposed to wet it first lay it on the paper towel all right, and when you first get your brushes, they have sizing in them, so you've got to get that out of there. Um, oh, well, thank you. 27 years, a member of my same church. Thank you. Well, our church is all over the world, so it's nice that many of people, I, I went to Taiwan and met all kinds of members of, of my church too. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We get some medium and some blue cobalt and I am going to fill in because this is what happens. Lots of times we paint flowers and you still see all that light underneath. So we need to get some depth. Um, before I go any further, I'm going to stop real quick. Now that this is dry because I talk so much. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I couldn't enter on my phone, but I can use my lap. Oh, okay. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go into the medium. Gilbert knows everything. He helps us with lots. All right. So we're going to go back into the medium. All right. Oops. And I don't know for you guys who just came on, I put some cobalt and some till there and I take the medium clean brush, three quarter big brush, clean brush. And we're going to come right here and we're going to side load the blue. All right. It's cobalt and aqua all right now i got the shape first if you weren't watching then we're going to go right on top all right right on top of this so it's clear glass all right so clear glass we're going to come across here 
and more medium. See, it's dry now. I need more medium. And I'm going to take that blue across. But it's a wash of medium and the and teal and cobalt. All right. So does that look like a clear glass already? Let's look at that. All right. So I'm going to put some white shading and all some reflections. But here's another fun thing to do. Um, that's dry. So let me show you. We can get some medium. I can. Here's a little neon blue too. The neon is on my website. You're going to love it. I use it a lot lately. I'm going to come across here, right here, and I'm going to do a water line because there's water in this jar. All right, now look what happens here. I'm going to go across this because I should have put this first maybe before I put the stems. So I'm going to take it off of my stems. All right, you just take that that brush and wipe it off okay so you want to see that stem i don't know if y'all can tell that you want to see that stem with no water line there because i'm going to get my medium again i want to see i want you to just say i learned four things today or i learned two things today i didn't know before that helps me know if you're liking what we're doing Woohoo! we got 115 um thumbs up thank you all right so i'm going to come across here all right, and come back up. So then that gives you the illusion that you can see down inside the jar and it has got a water line in the back and water line in the front. Okay, so it just looks a little bit more realistic. Okay, then, all right, then I'm gonna come right here with just a little bit of white. All right, and I can come in here. I'm doing this before the flower is going on in case it comes down. Like I could put a leaf here too, but I didn't because I didn't want it to um, mess up what I was doing here. All right, so here, chisel. I'm, I'm not worrying about that being perfect. That's just the, the jar uh, ridges in the top of the jar. All right, so then this is a 12 flat, and I did use medium just to get that, but right now I don't really need medium. I just need paint on here. Dip in the chisel, lay it flat. All right, so I can do a couple things. I can take this brush, I can lean and come down for a glare, or I can come across here and wipe that off because I picked up green. And I might have another glare over here. All right. So usually when you do the glare, just leave it. All right. Don't do any more. Just And that's hard because I want to keep messing with it. But leave it. All right. So that gives you a nice look. Now let's go back to what I was doing before. I got my number 12 flat. I cleaned it all off. Uh, love the lavender colors. Isn't that fun? This is uh, my scrapbooking paper from years ago. But there, and I don't have it anymore. But um, you can go get scrapbooking paper at any scrapbooking store or DIY store. This is slip slapping back and forth, back and forth. And I want depth in there before I start putting my flowers. Okay. Makes a big difference in what it looks like um, streaming on my Facebook. I just share your life. Oh, thank you. All right. I can tell you the best things in my life have been the most joy in my life has been my children and the most sadness in my life has been my seven children. So you never know, right? Um, but it's all about life, family, and what we love is when we can create and have peace through creating is what I like to share. Okay, so I'm just wanting to get that depth underneath. All right. <laughs> I've been having phone calls and uh, Michelle's working for me. And she goes, now I know why you haven't been answering the phone. <laughs> I will be back there, Michelle. I just am having fun right now. Okay, so just a little bit here and there. We're going to go down. 
All right. So look, I don't want just all the blue. So let's go get some of the citrus green. All right. And you might not want to mess your leaf up, but just look, it's fun, fun, fun. Now I'm teaching you a lot of things. Do we have anybody give me numbers? Have you learned anything that you didn't know? The Philippines, my sister-in-law is from the Philippines. Hello, hello. She, I just taught her some painting and she's doing the prettiest stuff. And um, I painted for one of my new Philippine friends. And I was just wondering, she got on the phone and thanked me. So that was fun. Um, or maybe we Zoomed or something. I don't know. There we go. All right. So do you see this? Before we go anywhere else, isn't that kind of fun? Look, it's dreamy a little bit. All right. So I still have my green popping. Um, I can do um, a couple other things on there. But right now, let's get ready to put our colors in here. So I'm going to use, here's some purple. This is dioxazine purple. And the first thing I want to do is go right in here and do the dioxazine purple background. You have to have dark to see light. So I want you to see that right there. Oh, I should just keep it there and bring it up and show you. All right. So there you go. Every book you publish. Oh, thank you. We got over 120 books, I think. So, um, but they don't publish books anymore. So thank you. Thank you. That's not fun. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put some purple up here. But what you really need to do, I'm just going to show you where they're going to go. What you really need to do is um not put this purple in all those spots until you're ready but i just want you to see uh, there's my triangle of design all right so i am going to have one darker and then lighter ones but you want to keep it wet while we're working so you only do that area we don't want to do straight lines around here okay um so thank you thank you so now what i want you to see is i'm going to get violet pansy now I'm going to slip slap, okay, some lighter colors at the top, violet pansy. Now I have not used neon yet, but I'm going to show you how fun that neon is. Now you need this dark to see light, right? So we're going to put a little bit of this. Now I'm going to get some a little bit of that neon, okay? And there's nothing that can make this bright, vivid color like neon does. Look at this. All right, so I want you to see in the light. All right, it gives us this really vivid, pretty color. Okay, so I'm just picking that up, working that in. I'm going to use another color called Juneberry. All these colors we have in stock. So um, you can check onestroke.com or, or just look for them in your area. This is neon colors. There's like five neon colors that we stock all the time that I love. All right, so here is the, I went back with some dioxazine purple. Remember on the edges, I want the edges all loose and not strong tight. All right, now I'm not going to do individual petals. I'm just going to show you how yummy that could look. Now, now I got to get some white. So I'm going to put some white in here, okay, with some neon maybe. All right, so I'm just wanting to work in until I get some highlight. Okay, and I like to get a moon shape kind of. See this? Okay, so see the crescent moon? All right, so I've got dark, I've got bright, and I've got just muted. Okay, now I can come back here, put some more... Uh, that let's, I've got dioxazine purple here. Now I'm going to get Juneberry. So let's put Juneberry here a little bit with the purple. All right. And this is going to be just a little bit lighter. So I'm going to wipe this brush. I'm sorry, I can't read everybody's messages. Uh, uh, Michelle just put on there. Look at Michelle James post. She put on some good stuff for you. All right. About getting these colors. All right, so I've got Juneberry, and I can get some of this violet, I mean this neon with Juneberry on there. Or what if we get some pink? 
All right, this is neon pink. All right, so let's come here. Slip, slap, slip, slap. All right. All right, let's get a little bit of white with the Juneberry. See, I'm getting a pretty shade there. Now, so that's going to be some of the lighter color I get here. Slip, slap, slip, slap. Okay. So this is more purple. That's more pinky. All right. And then what if we just kind of do this one over here with whatever's left on the brush? All right. So let's get some purples. Violet pansy and neon purple, neon pink. We have neon orange, green, pink, and blue. There we are. All right. So that needs not only some lighter tones, but also needs some white. There we go. See, I'm going to put neon pink a little bit. I'm just dabbing it kind of. And then we'll get some white. Okay, so what I'm doing is, if you watch this, I'm putting a little bit slip, slap, slip, slap, slip, slap, and getting the moon shape over there. So over here, I need that too. I didn't do that on here. Okay, so I'm getting slip, slap, slip, slap, slip. Just a little bit of flat, this 12 flat. Okay, then I can just make sure you come in here and really have the dark back in this corner here. See the dark? And that keeps your shading the same. See dark, dark, dark in here. All right, and I have some dark here, but let's blend it in so it's not just sticking there. All right, so we're just getting pretty yummy colors. Does that sound good? Um, and then I'm going to just come in with just a couple of leaves, but I want you to see, let's wash this off. We can then come in on some of these. I'm going to erase this pencil line here. But if I want to, let's say I want to put a little bit of this purple neon now look what can happen here. I can go right here to this leaf. Okay. And I'm grabbing it and I'm pulling. All right. All right. I, did, I went overboard. So just a little bit. All right. So if you go overboard, I like I got it more than I wanted. All right. So just look, I just come back to the citrus. I cleaned off the purple. And I can bring some per, uh, citrus back down. All right. And then I just need to put the stem back in there. All right. So let me see if I can do this better. Let's take some Juneberry. All right. And we're going to touch this. There we go. All right. And then maybe up here a little bit of Juneberry. All right. Oops, there we are. All right, there we go. All right, so I just like to bring color into the leaves a little bit. All right, so another thing we can do, it, I can still play around with this, which I might do when I get off air before I put it up. I can come in here and just do little leaves. This, this is the fun part at the end, okay? So we're going to do little leaves. Pull the stems. All right. Or what if we come in here and just do purple leaves? All right. That's got green on it also. Let's get the neon. And we pull the stems. Let's go up here. One. This is just neon, so it's like a gel. It's kind of transparent, but even the transparent stem shows. All right. So we'll come here. One, two, two, three. Maybe a little bit more up there. All right. So just a little bit, and on my finger touch there, so I can have a few more down here. And I'm just picking this color to make it the color that I'm putting off of here. All right. So just a little bit here and there. So you see that those right there were really pretty ones. All right. 
Are you liking it yet? <laughs> Hello from Washington. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now one little thing I'd like to do now at the end is I want to pick up, say I have the neon pink. I want to put little teeny dots out here, little teeny marks. I'm using this corner, this corner. All right. All right, sweep, 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 sweep. All right, this one has some pink in it and some purples. I can put a little bit of white over here. Just little dots in here. So this is just one of these lessons that I'm doing on um, YouTube spring, uh, streaming. If you want more of these, please subscribe. I'm go by the subscribers, whether um, they let me spend more time doing these, which I like doing because they're just fun. All right, there you are, because I get to see what you guys are saying. Put it off. Oh my gosh, that would be beautiful, honey. That would be beautiful. All right, so I can come in here. And then take these little dots, little little bits out here, because that just gives more life to that. This is the neon purple. I was using neon pink. Okay, so look, you just go around the edges and take it out just a little bit. Isn't that kind of fun? All right, and I also like um, just in some of this area, I'll show you something else we can do. All right, so here's a Juneberry, but we need some white with the Juneberry. There we go. All right, and we also have these hometown kits that have as a starter kit. It's on sale from 140, $149 to $89, and it has brushes and paints and, and uh, worksheets and everything, and the live lessons are on YouTube. To paint along with me so go check those out there we go all right so i'm just put a little bit to take it from just a little circle and it's kind of dreamy and i am gonna sign it let's look at that all right so we can also come in here with a little bit of citrus green Let's put a little, would purple make it mud? I think purple's making it mud. Never mind. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take this lavender, maybe. All right. We'll roll it. All right. So we can come out from here and do fun pearls. All right. That's inky. Did you see me? I put water. I made it inky. Roll it. That's my two script liner. Okay, so, oops, my paper got in the way. That's okay. All right, I should have gone slower on that. All right. All right, so we're going to come here. All right. I also teach you a whole thing about doing curly cues on my practice strokes. So check practice strokes out today, okay? I'd love for you to practice and learn our technique together. All right, so did that make you happy? You guys made me happy by being on this morning. And I'm just gonna sign all downward strokes. So watch this, this will help you do your signatures. One, two, one, down, down. You notice I do. <laughs> I don't do Dewberry because there's two R's. <laughs> All right. All right. So there you go. Have fun. I did. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Please, please subscribe. Tell your friends to come subscribe. We'll get more online lessons. I hope you like this one. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you, Lucy Mott. Love those pretty hearts. Thank you. Bye-bye.